Hey there everybody, it's Jessica and Peanut here and we're coming back at you with another workout session today. Today we're gonna focus on your abdominals, your deep core muscles, stabilizers in your back. We're gonna use a little bit of a Pilates fusion approach to turn them on. So you can do this barefoot if you'd like. It's also a great workout to develop balance, control, coordination, some agility as well. So we're just gonna start with a toe tap side to side and right from the beginning I want you to think about turning on your abs from the inside out so we're thinking of hugging the belly towards the spine not sucking in your gut not holding your breath but bracing the abs in also want you to think about drawing up through your pelvic floor so you're at the same time you're pulling in and you're pulling up and then you're gonna cap those core muscles by pressing down to the shoulders and the back so think down in and up. I know it's a lot to think about and you're toe tapping at the same time. So keeping that sensation throughout the exercises today, we're going to build upon that foundation. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're just going to walk our feet together here, nice and parallel. And I want you to go ahead and tap this foot forward. Just point your toe, bend that standing leg slightly, get grounded. Arms are going to extend, spread your fingers nice and wide. I want you to lift your front leg up, bend your knee, extend and bend. Now, as I bend my knee in, I'm gonna draw the abs in just a smidge tighter. Even though they're staying engaged, think of lifting up and in a little more. Up and in, good. Working through the balance. Of course, we got the leg engaging too. Press, good. That's it. Now, keep that leg extended. We're gonna push the arms back, lower the toe to the floor. I want you to lift the leg up for two, take it down for two, do it again. Lift, two, and down, two. Again, draw in and up with those abs, and down. Pump in the arms, trying to push your off, yourself off balance, but you've got such a strong center, you're not gonna go anywhere. Up and down, two more, up and down, one last time, up and down, bring your feet together, good, take a second, let's set that up on the other leg, so we bend, in, extend, draw in and up, press it out, good, lift and reach it long, so as the leg extends back out, think of really lengthening it, out and away from you. Draw in and up to lift that knee. Breathing nice and deep here. Good. You got it. In and out. Four more. Two more. Good, last time. Extend that leg to the floor. Get ready to pump those arms. Lift up for two and down. Two and up, two and down. Two, good, find that balance. Engage deeply through those abdominals. Lift and lower. Make sure you're not leaning back, shoulders over the hips. Good. And down, give me two more just like that. One more time. Nice, and lower. Step it out, side to side, good. Ooh, we feel that all the way down to the ankles, right? So from here, we're gonna rotate a little bit more and get into our obliques. So I want you to step on this leg, just crossing this leg over and out to the side. We're gonna go ahead and take both hands lightly behind the head. As that leg crosses, see if you can turn into that leg. Standing knee is slightly bent. Keep bracing those abs in towards your spine. Exhale, inhale. Good. You got it. Give me eight more here. Six, 
four more. Last two, last two. Beautiful, now keep with the obliques. We're gonna lean and extend the top arm, bringing the top elbow to the knee. Find your balance, pull, tap. Really control that lift, so we're not gonna rush it. If you need to hold on to something, you can. Hold and extend. Good, exhaling the elbow to the knee. Give me eight more here. Four more, make sure you get a nice stretch as everything extends. Last two, one more. Beautiful, side to side, ah, good. Feel those balancing muscles all the way down to our feet. So let's set that up to the other side. Remember, we're just gonna start with the leg first. So we balance on this leg, we tap and cross. So it's just a little light toe tap, hands light on the back of the head, starting to turn into the leg as it crosses over. Woo, this side's a little more wobbly for me. Sometimes that happens. Good. Abs in. Standing knee has that slight bend in it to help you keep more grounded. Remember, thinking about lifting through the pelvic floor, bracing the abs in, pressing the shoulder blades down your back. Good. You can exhale on that twist. Don't forget to inhale as you untwist. Good. Final four, three, two, and one. Taking a second, leaning to the side, extending and stretching. Elbow to knee, here we go. Up and tap. So there's that little moment that we have to pause and balance at the top. Remember, if you need to hold on to something, you can. Really get into that standing leg. So you have a strong foundation. Good. That's it. Contract, reach. Just two more. One more. Beautiful, let's just walk it out for a second. Give those legs a little breather. You're doing great. So now we're gonna move the leg forward and back. Still focusing on that abdominal region, also getting a little bit more into your back. So I want you to just take a second, tap this leg behind you, reach both arms out in front. Back toe is pointed. So we're gonna reach the knee in front of us. I want you to round your nose to your knee like this, exhaling. <sighs> Inhale, extend. Exhale, round and scoop. Inhale, reach and extend back. Exhale and inhale. So really rounding the back, but rounding because your abs are contracting here. Good. Nice and slow and controlled. You got it. Exhale and inhale. Just give me one more. Exhale and inhale. Beautiful. Now from here, I want you to keep lifting this leg. We're gonna reach the back arm by the ear. Extend back, feel the back here. Seeing if you can keep that extension, holding it, pitching forward from our hips, coming up. Good, slow and controlled, forward for two. Lifting up, I know that standing leg is talking. Pitching forward, try to keep a nice long line from that back toe out through the fingertips. Two forward, two up. Good. Almost there. We're gonna do two more, you got this. 
One last time. Come on up, just walk it out. Ah, oh, good, okay, let's just turn around so we can set that up to the other side. Remember, slow, controlled motion, full range of movement, deep contraction of the muscles. Tap it back, reach it long, ready? Round forward and contract, exhale nose to knee. Inhale, extend back. Now, if you don't need your toes on the floor behind you, you could float that back leg more. Deep breaths. Good. Exhaling round. Inhale, extend back. You got it. Focus on that contraction through the abdominals. Go deep. Give me one more here. Beautiful, keep that back leg extended. Take the front arm down, back arm by the ear. Find your center, pitch forward, keeping the body in alignment and up. Hinging at the hips. Lift, so the shape of the body isn't changing. We're just pitching it forward, lifting it back. Nice, strong balance challenge here. Find a focal point for your eyes to help you keep your center. Doing great, stay with me. And if you lose your balance, it's no big deal. Just reset as quickly as you can. We all get knocked off center every once in a while. Just get back to it as quickly as you can. Give me one more, please. Great job, side to side toe taps. <sighs> So good, I know there's a lot of balance involved, so we are feeling our lower body quite a bit, or at least I am. So I want you to go ahead and take a little breather, just curl the heel in. You can bring your feet a little closer together. So we're gonna keep working through those obliques, moving into a standing bicycle variation. So I want you to just go ahead and take this leg forward out in front of you, we're gonna take the hands behind the head again, nice and light. And I want you to just bend the knee in and make a circle. Kind of like a little horse move, up and out. So this is gonna take some focus here. Circle, in and up. One more, adding a twist into the leg, away from the leg. Good, circle in and up. Keep breathing, eight more. Good. Four more. Last two, one more. Curl and breathe. Just take a little break before we set that up on the other side. So, switching legs. You're gonna balance on this leg. Just start with the circle, in and up. So getting that in the body first. Still challenging the abs just to balance here as that leg makes that circle in and up. Get your hands ready, light behind the head. Remember, we're not gonna pull on the neck. When you're ready, exhaling in and down, in and down. Here's that coordination I was telling you about. Good. You got it, you're doing great. Eight more. Final four. Two more. One more time. Great job. Just give me a side to side toe tap. Cross the leg over. Just breathe it out. Nice job, everybody. So from here, we're just gonna change the arms with a little press. 
lifting through that heel, pressing down through your back. Good. That's it. Squeeze the inner thighs. Press down through the sides of your back and the sides of your waist. Just getting a little more movement in the body. You got it. Last four, three, and two. One, take your feet out wide, toe tap. We're gonna go into a nice plie position. So I want you to widen your feet, take your knees out of your toes, come down halfway up. Deep breaths, good. Now we're gonna take the arms into a little bow and arrow position. We're gonna pull down, reach. So there's a rotation happening as I bend my elbow down towards my thigh. Hands are gonna reach out and across and away. Squeeze. Good. Your eyes can go with it or stay center if that works better. Four more on this side. Three, two, one. Now hold, take a break, not for the legs. We're gonna go to the other side. Ready, arms reaching, take it down and across. Twist, good. Keep that plie as low as you can. Rotate and reach. Deep breaths. Last four. Two more. Beautiful. Center pulse. We're gonna step this foot into this one into a narrow squat position right here. I'm gonna move forward a little bit. So we're gonna come from this squat, reaching both arms up, extend the spine and lift the leg, switch. So want a little extension, getting the back and glutes involved. They're part of our core musculature. Lift and lower. So feel the body expanding as you stand. Lift. Four more. Last two. Now just hold and pulse. I'm gonna to turn towards you so you can see this a little better. We're gonna make a circle with the arms. Come down, up and around. So I'm only coming halfway up out of that squat. Deep breaths. Good. Down and circle, cross and crunch. Nice little chop across the body. Four, three, two, one more time. Good, toe tap it out, just give your legs a little break. Beautiful. Pulse that plie for me. We're just gonna build that to the other side. This foot steps into this one. Narrow squat. Ready, extend, up and down. Just breathe nice and deep for me. Inhale and exhale. Good. Taking a minute to Focus on that contraction, but also just enjoy moving. Enjoying that we can spend this time together, breathing, making our bodies stronger. Good. Two more, please. Good, let's get ready for that circle, cross chop, up and across. Deep inhale and exhale. You got it. Final four. 
Last two. One more. Beautiful, toe tap it out. Just breathe. Beautiful, guys. Wrapping it up right here, side to side, nice and easy. Just take a little stretch through your side. Good. One more. Other arm comes down and stretch. Beautiful. So if you'd like to continue on, we have plenty more workouts here for you on our channel. If you're done, let's just finish here with a nice deep breath to wrap things up. Turn your knees and toes parallel towards me. Round forward, inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, lift. And exhale one more time. Nice deep breath. And let it go. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining Peanut and I for this Fusion Abs Core session. We hope you had fun, got a little sparkly, and that we'll be able to join you for another session real soon. Take care, everybody.